What's up, gang? This is Exiting Futurette Channel. I'm Chris, and I have a bonus video for you. I received a Mondo box of movies from my dude Kelly. Uh, he recently made an Instagram account. It's uh, Rune Mesa. I'll put it down below so you guys can see it. Because um, he has been doing these like super cool themes, like movie themes. And I've never seen anybody do stuff like this. I think it's very creative. I just opened this box and saw like how coolly this was packed and I was like, all right, I might as well make another unboxing video. There's a note and uh, I won't read it aloud, but um, it's written to Xtein and Switcheroo. Let me just show you how this is packaged. So there's movies in here and they're wrapped and they are uh, labeled grim and goofy. What the hell could that mean? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. This is really, really cool. And there's like a whole lot of stuff in here. I don't know how much this weighs, but um, it's a lot. So <laughs> thank you so much for this. We talked a little bit about what some of these things are and I'm very excited. So for Grim and Goofy, we have Monster Man. On this highway, the roadkill is human. <laughs> There's a monster truck. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. A 2003 flick. Oh my gosh. I've never heard of Monster Man, but this looks amazing. There's some gold right off the bat. Spider Baby. I have always wanted to see this. Uh, starring Lon Chaney and Sid Haig. Um, that's awesome. I've never seen this. Pep Squad, Three Cheers for Death. This seems like something my husband would watch. Cherry Wants to Be a Prom Queen, don't we all? Oh my god, this looks amazing. I see what you mean by Grim and Goofy. Thrill Me with Adrenaline. What is this paper? This is really, really cool. Thrill Me with Adrenaline, we have Ryan Reynolds. Full Proof, No More Games. Wow. I have not seen that. I know my homeboy Matatron probably owns this because he's the biggest Ryan Reynolds fan in the world. Uh, survival Quest, Amazon.com. What the heck is this? Why, why is it, why is there an Amazon.com? Like, I've not, do they have exclusive tapes? Um, a Don Coscarelli film. Are these your like reviews on here? Because Foolproof has a review um, like something taped on there, and that's super awesome. I'm going to keep that inside of the case. Um, and then there's something on here, too, that Kelly printed out and taped. This is probably Lance Henriksen's most likable character I've seen him play. Wow, that's awesome. I've not seen Survival Quest, and I'm, like, very intrigued by why this is an Amazon.com case, but that's awesome. And Tournament. Hmm, Death by Elimination. Wow, this looks awesome. An action flick with a lot of characters. And yeah, that looks really cool. So here's our Thrill Me with Adrenaline. I'm like very excited to see these themes that he sent. This is for the Wii one because we have a toddler and I'll put this back in there and let her open it herself because she loves movies, of course. Oh, wow. Minuscule, Valley of the Lost Ants. That's really cute. I've never heard of this. It says uh, Richard Dreyfuss. Um, yeah, I've never heard of this, but I love, like, uh, kids, like, animated stuff like this. Animals are beautiful people. Warner Ar Archive Collection. And there's a note on the back of this one. I have never heard of this. I don't think. She will definitely love that. She loves animals. So, um, I'm gonna put that back in here for her. But there's stuff for the kiddo. Here's a big one. Small screen stunners. Look at that. Let's see, small screen stunners, and here we have, oh, a Jeff Daniels flick, Grand Tour, Disaster in Time. I've never heard of this. And my husband's a giant Jeff Daniels fan. Uh, it's action adventure sci-fi, I like sci-fi. We have Elizabeth Montgomery, Between the Darkness and the Dawn. I just said I wanna watch more Elizabeth Montgomery flicks, so that's awesome. Um, uh, yeah, I really love her, so that's, that's really cool. How do you pick up your life with 20 years missing? I don't know. Watch and find out. My Super Psycho Sweet 16. I um, have never seen this and I don't really know much about it. It says that it's uh, MTV Home Entertainment 
So that's intriguing in and of itself. Um, the thing that Kelly printed out and put in here says they made three of these. The first one was the best. Um, hmm. I know nothing about that, so I'll be going in blind. That's really cool. Wish Upon a Star, Katherine Heigl and Danielle Harris. Double skips. Yeah, I will definitely be watching that. Maybe I'll even get Danielle Harris to sign it. We have Shriek If You Know What I Did Last Friday the 13th, which I have never seen. And uh, we have Coolio's in it right there looking super fly. And uh, it says, and Tom Arnold. I guess he's a cop. So that is really, really rad. I love those like silly spoof comedy things. That's awesome. And then we have the Midnight Hour. And I was talking to Kelly about how like I really, really, really wanted to own this because I watched it on YouTube, which was like a horrible transfer. And of course, you know, it's it's out of print and it goes for ridiculous amounts of money that I would never pay for the Anchor Bay release. But this is a, uh, a copy and that is totally awesome. I am so happy to finally own this because this is something that could become a Halloween tradition for sure. I loved it. So um, if you have not seen this, like I said, it is, you can watch it for free on YouTube, but uh, you're going to want to own it because it's a rad movie. LeVar Burton's in it, so um, don't take my word for it. So these are our small screen stunners. Hmm. So this one is called Here Comes Trouble. What could that mean? Ooh, cut bank. Leaving a small town can be murder. Um, it says Billy Bob Thornton's in this, Liam Hem Hemsworth. I definitely have not seen this. Uh, not all the casting is best. I like that casting. <laughs> um, it says Fargo like, which I have not seen, but I own it. Um, that's awesome. I don't own this, I own Fargo. Do not own this. That's really cool. Um, unknown, trust no one, fear everyone. Looking at the names on here, I don't think that I know any of those. But there's a gun on the cover at somebody's foot. A couple dead guys. And then, uh, wait until dark. Audrey Hepburn, Alan Arkin, Richard Crenna. My husband loves Alan Arkin. It looks pretty dramatic on the back. An effective shocker. Here comes trouble. Monsters on the Loose. We have the Flesh Eaters, which um, I don't know anything about this Dark Sky Films. Deleted Nazi experiment sequence. What? <laughs> and then Metamorphosis, the alien factor. It came from another world. Uh-oh. If you want to see some great practical 80s effects, then this is the movie for you. Fun and effects laden all around. I'm sold. Wow. Not one single one of these have we owned yet. Not one. Psychos, Schizos, and Slashers. What a combination. Wow. Evil Dead Trap. Do we have that? I feel like I used to own this. I've never seen it. Toshiharu Ikita film. That's awesome. I've never seen this, but I've always wanted to. I've heard of it a lot. This is a Synapse release. Babysitter Wanted. Um, Bill Mosley's in it. Hmm. One of the best films I have seen in the past 10 years, according to horrormovies.ca. Homegirl's butt's just out. Hmm. I've never heard of it. And then, um, what is this? Baby Blues? The mother of all horror movies? Huh. The Cradle Will Fall. I've never heard of that. And then Horror House on Highway 5, um, which I don't think is familiar to me either, 2004, filmed by Richard Casey. And then The Sadist, Arch Hall Jr. Look at that guy's face. What's wrong with him? Mostly taking place in one location and a lot of talk. This suspense film is never boring and it's one of those movies in which you feel like you've, you're actually there with the people on screen. Arch Hall Jr. delightfully overplays his role as the villain. That's always a fun time. So these are the psychos, schizos, and slashers. Interesting. Next we have surreal cinema. I put out a question on um, 
my Instagram like a while ago asking for like surreal movie suggestions because I love it and I want to watch some more. Okay, Dr. Caligari. I've actually never seen this. Um, I've seen it around a lot of times, but I've never seen it. Recycle, a Pang Brothers film. Ooh, what the heck is that? This one you have to give a chance. It takes a while to get to the good stuff, but when it does, you'll be glad you waited. Huh. I mean, I am okay with uh, a movie building up. That's totally fine. But this cover and everything has me pretty intrigued. Uzumaki Spiral? Is that what this is? Hmm. One of the most original horror films in history. I feel like I've heard of this, but I've 100% not seen it. Elite Entertainment. Damn demons. In the damn demons, we have the evil within. I see Michael Berryman there pretty clearly. Curse of the Demon and Night of the Demon. And uh, Bloody Mallory. Hmm, evil has a new enemy. And a tape called The Convent. Never have heard of any of those, I think. In Broom Blisters, we have five girls and Curse of the Doll People. K. Gordon Murray Presents. I... It's a 1960 flick. I have not seen that. Evil X People. We have The Grave Dancers, which is one of the eight films to die for after Dark Horror Fest, which I don't own any. I own like one of them. One of those movies. And then Forget Me Not. Those are the... Uh, Evil X people. I see what you did there. Giallo shots. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We have Spider Labyrinth and Body Puzzle, both of which I've not seen. Under Giggle Givers, we have Book of Love, which uh, I don't know. It says featuring classic rock and roll soundtrack. Looks pretty cool. Midnight Madness, a wacky college adventure. Monster High. Murder by Death. Who done it? You'll die laughing figuring it out. That sounds really fun. Murder He Says. Psycho Beach Party. Short time. Getting killed isn't as easy as it looks. Huh. Giggle Givers. Continuing on, thrill me with fear. I had to pre-cut some of these. Steven Dorf, Break, Burning Bright. The heck is that, a tiger? He, his feeding, your frenzy. Crawl or die. Mute witness, she won't be silenced. In the classic style of Hitchcock. Ritual. Film by Joko Anwar? Hmm, never heard of that. Shockma? Christopher Atkins? The Evolution of Revenge. Interesting. Never heard of that either. Pissed Off Places. Stitch. I did hear of this. I have never seen it. Sweet Home. Film by Kiyoshi Kurosawa never seen that. Triangle terror comes in waves with a lenticular slip. Look at that. That's creepy. Is this about the Bermuda Triangle? Interesting. Musical mayhem. You know I love my musicals. We have Colma the musical. I have never heard of this. 2006, a giddy unexpected pleasure according to LA Weekly. Wow. I mean, that's pretty interesting right there. That's, uh, makes me want to watch it, to be honest. Anthologia. Oh, Rachel Lee Cook. Patrick Swayze, Hillary Swank. 11-14. Uh, Fate Can Change in Seconds. I've never seen that, but that cast, that cast has me interested. Nightmares in this year's Sleeper. 
that uh this cover art is drawing me in um and southbound you know is this this is the one that you mentioned to me isn't it kelly i you were talking to me about this i think um yeah i need to watch this like soon and then southbound one less highway five terrifying tales all going south mm-hmm It looks pretty cool, though. I actually want to watch more anthology flicks because I have not seen many that I like. So um, I'm trying to find some. Dynamic drama. Well, this is a hefty package. That's what she said. Wow, okay, The Chocolate War, which I know um, multiple people have talked to me about this. And I need to watch this, like, ASAP. So I'm very happy to finally be able to do that. Uh, learning Curve, John S. Davies. That right there is uh, intriguing me. That looks really, really cool. <laughs> There's a thing in it. Yeah, I did like Positive ID. And, uh, oh, I hope you like the 80s song Mickey because you're going to hear it a lot. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. What is this? There is a lightning bug. Is it called Lightning Bug? Yes, it is. Anchor Bay. Should have known that, I guess, but I didn't. Sex, bugs, and rock and roll. Okay, that's a winner for sure. <laughs> Some guy who kills people. Barry Bostwick. That, uh, that's a winner right there, too, just based on that title alone. And uh, 20 bucks. Ben Brendan Fraser's in it. Steve Buscemi. Elizabeth Shue. Christopher Lloyd. Linda Hunt. Oh, a star-studded cast. This looks amazing. <laughs> Wow, a comedy about how we spend our lives. That looks really, really amazing. There's a Chinese, uh, what's this called? A Chinese yo-yo. <laughs> so in The Fistful of Fantasy, we have Journey to the West, which I've never heard of. Stephen Chow. Odd Thomas, which, um, this has a lenticular slip, but I feel like I, at some point, owned this, or maybe I just wanted to. I don't recall. Not sure if I own it or if I wanted to see it. Um, I've never seen it, though. And then Tag, which, um, Sion Sono. I'm so happy to have this because I have been looking forward to seeing this ever since I saw Anti-Porno. That was, I think, the first Sion Sono flick that I've seen, and I loved it. So I'll be watching this for sure soon. Wishcraft. That sounds interesting. Um, Uh-oh. The City of Lost Children. That's a creepy, creepy cover. Curse of the Dragon Slayer. Existence, which I've seen... I think, I think I bought this from Dollar Tree and the copy was messed up so I had to throw it out. So now I can finally watch it. And uh, Ink. If you like Inception, Ink will blow you away. Looks really, really cool. The final one is an uncategorized mess, which I think is very funny. I can open that. Yeah, here, open it. So in the uncategorized mess, we have uh, the other side with some people that I don't know of, yeah. but it looks cool. Motorama, and this cover is like pulling me in. Oh, Flea's in it. <laughs> so is uh, Meatloaf, R.I.P. There's only one way to win the girl of your dreams. Floor it. Okay. Uh, one that I haven't seen yet, but I wanted to. One Cut of the Dead, which is a Shutter exclusive, so that's why I haven't seen it yet. We have Kwoon. Bad acting, good kung fu, which um, I guess the sticker goes to, which I found at the bottom of the box. I'll just put that with that. And then uh, something is dying to get you. The item, director's cut, an artisan flick. Um, I have not seen this for sure, but it looks really, really cool. Cloned, the, re the Recreator Chronicles. You will be replaced. Uh-oh. Stronger, better, faster. And a lot of these do have Kelly's notes on them, which I very much think is very cool and uh dead end drive-in which um who put this out recently an anchor bay release didn't somebody re-release this i don't recall but i have never seen this 
or maybe I don't know why I don't know why this seems like very familiar to me recently but I have never seen this but I have always wanted to so that's <laughs> the price of admission is the rest of your life that's much appreciated dude I have to like take a, a still picture of this like massive stack that I have going on here um it's, it's pretty nuts. I have no idea how many titles this is, but thank you, Kelly, for sharing them with me. There are so many in here that I've been, like, waiting for and am stoked to finally have. Um, very, very generous of you. I very much appreciate it. That was nuts. So thanks to Kelly. If you were entertained by these little themes that he did, definitely go check out his Instagram because he has more of that stuff going on there, which is really, really cool. Some of them made me laugh out loud, I'm not going to lie. Some of them made me laugh uh, pretty hard. I think the, um, the opposite ones he was doing were like pretty, pretty funny. So thanks for sharing all that stuff and thanks for sending this along. Um, let me know what you guys think of this, which ones are your favorites and which ones I should get down on first. And thank you for watching. Thank you, Kelly, for sending this. I don't know what else to say. That was my uh, bonus and... I'm going to be reviewing something on Friday, so look forward to that. I will see you next time.